I need to get this. Screw gravity. Oh, I completely start messed up. Go, go, go. Come on. I'm still catch up. Just what I needed. GG. Hmm, maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna get them all. There's not really any point to getting them all. is like crazy on my phone and iPad. So I'm gonna finish this activity first before I read any of them. For now, come on, we're almost there. And made it. Trivia Knight Chalice because I'm not around to defend it. He's got another thing coming. Ooh, Kim's just gonna kick Matt's ass. Once they get back to the ship, of course. On to the next one. And I won't be too long till we're back to the ship because we're almost done. But 15 respect, then it's the next cutscene in the final mission unlocked. I'm not going to be doing the whole mission straight away. Simply because I don't need to. Ah, uh, because of a secret ending. If you don't do it straight away, and you do it all the activities. So I'm going to be doing that. Maybe on screen, maybe off screen, I've not decided yet. Things to that car. Go away. Thank you. Right. Boom. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cole and I, Joe? And what do you want? You're a wicked shit. I love what Kenzie had a spike right through her breasts and didn't even care. All the low hanging fruit. Time to get to work collecting the rest. Low hanging fruits. <laughs> uh, I don't know what she's talking about, but um, okay. Whatever. <laughs> this machine gun is. So bad. It's probably the worst machine gun in Central history. And along with the one in Central 3. That was terrible.
I messed up, oh well. How's that going down again already? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Still got it in time, no problem. Soul's Orientation Guide, Chapter 13, The Den of Eternal Suffering. Don't let the official name scare you. This wonderful location serves as our entertainment district. Take in one of Shakespeare's passion plays, enjoy a septuple way, or maybe just settle down for a sinfully perfect hot cocoa. Here you can find it all. Yes, these delights are oppressively expensive, but is it really that different from San Francisco? Daro, never been to San Francisco. Three, two, one. That's what I don't like about this activity is it takes far too long to load up. Yeah. I've got a five second wait for the three, two, one countdown. And it defeats the whole three, two, one thing if you're gonna have five seconds before that even starts. I don't know why, right? For some reason this part of hell reminds me of the Simpsons game. Not the Simpsons game, it's Simpsons hit and run. And the final mission in the level, level 7, whatever it was. With that impossible Mr. Burns mission. For some reason this part of hell just reminds me of, of Springfield at that point in the game. I don't know why. It's really weird. I don't understand it, but it just does. There we go. And I failed. Not not the mission not the activity to get in that last guy. You know what I need to do, right? I need to get upgrades because I don't know what that was all about, but okay. See, I haven't got upgrades in a while. Be able to piss those to be honest. And that'll do. I'll do the power upgrades in a bit. The Saints think they can replace me with you? Well, yeah, because I'm not a back backstabbing piece of shit like you. So, 
You're the new boss, huh? Why is my gun talking to me? Calling me a gun is like calling Jesus some dude in sandals. What are you? I'm a gun. But you just... I have a name, <laughs> asshole. They call me Gallows Dodger. Well, Gallows Dodger, maybe you should talk nicer to the person who can toss you into lava. Look, let's, let's start over. I'm just a little antsy because I haven't killed anyone in a few minutes. Gat's gonna love you. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't have wasted all that upgrading thing. I need to upgrade the gun now. I I'm gonna spend the rest of my money on that I've got. Just upgrading Gallows Dodger because it's probably one of the best weapons in the game. Most powerful weapons. There you go. And the rest on ammo, there we go. A damn soul's orientation guide, chapter 33. The deadly sins. No longer just delightful pastimes. Pride, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony, greed, and sloth have become personified in the form of weapons. Only the most deserving wretched soul will be blessed with one of these treasured artifacts. Yeah, I just got one. Shakespeare's tragedies moved throughout the entertainment district, eagerly awaiting their master's next command. The bard had written about love enough times to recognize attraction when he saw it. Dane was smitten by a certain lady, even if the young executive did not know it yet. Here. Oh, hello. <laughs> you not getting saved. <laughs> Deck shot. Come on, come get me. Come and get me. Come on, I'll even open both doors for you. Come on. <laughs> Where did you go? Oh, hello. There you are. That was easy enough. Now, actually, let's go and be get for the next few activities because we've been Kenzie long enough now. It's time for a change. Viola and Kiki. Let's go get him. My sister and I built downtown, and we're not giving it up without a fight. That's nice. I don't blame you, to be honest. You are technically saints after all. Nice. Let's see what these things can do. Tank me in. In Saints of War, it was like five different types of mayhem. But then get out of hell to the three. The frog launcher, which is really annoying. The RPG. And the good old fashioned tank me in. Tank me in is probably my favourite just because, well, we're in a tank. The only use for our tanks is causing chaos and explosions. 
No one gets an attack of three rooms just to drive around in it, do they? And I said plan to blow stuff up. It's not easy to get from one location to the next. I don't know why the tank blows up when you finish the activity. It happens every time, I don't know why. I don't know if that's a glitch or if they intended that to happen. I heard from Jezebel. She's ready to sneak you in. I knew she'd come through. I'll be right there. Jezebel's plan worked flawlessly, and when the time was right, she made her way to the bowels of the palace. But while she successfully managed to breach the castle walls to let Johnny in, she did not go unnoticed. Put that toy down, Mr. Gat. And why would I do that? Oh, because if you don't, I'll break Jezebel's beautiful neck. She's your daughter. I'll say something kind at her funeral. Drop it. I knew it. It's you. It's always been you. Yeah, wait, what you talking about? You love her. I really don't. You love her! Ah, oh, Johnny, my boy! I misjudged you! You've shown loyalty by walking into hell. You've shown cunning by robbing me. You've shown brutality by killing my generals. And now you're willing to sacrifice yourself for my daughter. You're the man who should be my son. <laughs> Defiant to the end. Now listen, boy. You've proven your spirit. But don't presume to push me further. Let him go. Not now, Jesse. The men are talking. Dad, let him go. Look how you inspire her. She wants to kill me. You bring out the best in her. I'll offer you a deal, Mr. Gat. Marry my daughter, and I'll allow your companion to leave with the President's soul. It's your choice. You know where to find me. The President's soul was within Johnny's grasp. All he had to do was marry Satan's daughter.